Crabtree Falls Observation Site, George Washington National Forest. Here's an overlook of Crabtree Falls Observation Trail. Of course, we're down there at the parking lot. Shows you a number of fall areas where you can take pictures. And if you take the trail up to 2.9 miles, you'll run into the Appalachian Trail. Hey everybody, it's Mark the Lost Traveler. And we're ready to travel. Just after you cross over the bridge, here's something that you don't see, an old relic, a payphone. I'm gonna see if it works. And actually it does, you get a dial tone with that. Little information there, restrooms, 200 feet, information board, 250, pay station, 250 feet, and Crabtree Falls this way. Well, when you get here, there's a lower parking lot and an upper parking lot. Of course, I parked in the lower lot. Our first information sign, 500 feet to the lower falls. A mile and three quarters to the upper falls. Just off the trail from the trailhead are these two grave markers. And the one on the left looks like A.W. Fitzgerald. August 8th, 1844. Died February 5th, 1917. And I would imagine this is his beloved wife, Mary Elizabeth Fitzgerald. July 16th, 1833. July 7th, 1924. Danger, the rocks are covered with a plant growth that makes them extremely slippery. 23 people have died while climbing on the rocks. View the falls from designated areas only. Well, the first part of this path is paved, and then I guess the rest will be uh, rock and dirt and gravel and who knows what. But uh, you can already see the first falls just about uh, after about a five minute walk. that straight ahead is your first falls that's on the paved road and then just to the right crab tree falls trails and there you go rugged terrain but we're gonna head to the falls first on the lower end here Time to make our way up to the Upper Falls. All right, one of our first uh, fairly steep climbs. Beautiful, right along these rocks here. Well, our next set of waterfalls, and I don't know if you can see, just off to the right there is one very steep stair climb. Uh, we still got a few more stairs to go, but after you climb those first 37, you come to another spot and we're going to the very top up there. Stairs, here we go.
tell you, definitely a steep climb up to the top of the falls, but we're at a little rest stop here. This next area we can uh, take some photos. And away we go. Up, up, up. Well, we're at uh, 0.7, which means we still have a mile to go. But if you look up here, Somebody left a pen and you can write your name. And I don't know if you can see that, but the 17th of August, 2020. Beautiful view of the valley behind. You can actually walk down by the waterfall here. Out on this outcove of rocks. We have come up upon this cool cave here. Let's go through. Hello bears or rattlesnakes or whatever. No, oh, this is cool. Oh, a little steep here, but we're out. That was neat. This video won't do the steepness of this uh, waterfall justice, but uh, this is pretty steep here. This would be a great water slide. Well, we still have about 0.6 miles to go, and this is, I think, about the seventh waterfall along the way. Look at all this rock stacking here. Very impressive. The last viewpoint of the falls.
Well, just a few more steps and we have completed the 1.7 mile trek to the top. One point seven of one point seven. If you keep heading off to the right, you can head up to the Appalachian Trail there. Danger, stay on trail. Rocks are extremely slippery. 30 people have died venturing off the trail. And we have made it to the top. Well, end of the line up here. Take a seat and rest for the yeah. trek back down. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a view. I know. Well, that was an extreme trek to the top. 1.7 miles. So, uh... I'll stop it here for now, and then I'll see you on the bottom because uh, we don't need to film going down. Okay, great rock formations around here. We have 0.4 miles to go. Just a quick update on the trek back down, and it is starting to rain. I'm glad we left when we did. We are almost at the trailhead. Just a few more steps. We started right at the Crabtree Falls Trail. It's nice after you come off that uh, rough trail, it's maybe, uh, I don't know, a thousand yards on this uh, pavement to the beginning and uh, all the information there. Ooh, that was a good hike. Uh, thank God it didn't uh, rain. Just a little bit though, about halfway down and uh, once I got down near the bottom, the rain had stopped. So I did uh, 3.4 miles, two hours and 10 minutes. And as you know, in my other hiking videos that I do, I am slow as molasses and honey put together. So the average person can do it in probably about an hour and a half. But uh, they say the falls is um, 1,200 feet, but it kind of stair steps down. So that's probably from top to bottom as uh, you make your way up. But a uh, very nice hike, some really steep areas. There was a cave up there. Didn't see any wildlife though, but uh, all in all, very nice hike. So that's going to do it from Crabtree Falls. And on that note, Traveler out.